you just destroyed an Arduino by believing a myth. So, if you do not want to destroy it, let's bust some myths! There are many myths about Arduino that eventually destroy one of these, aka Arduino, and what you should never, ever, ever do. These are 8 Arduino myths that destroy it. Firstly, the most common misconception is that Arduinos are not used in manufacturing or are children's toys. Well, however, that is true that Arduinos might not be found in any of the electronic boxes or toys that you find. The Atomega 328 chip is found inside manufacturing, and this same exact chip is to be found inside Arduino. So you could say Arduinos are used in real-life manufacturing. But in the most early phases of making something, Arduinos are involved in it. The second misconception is that Arduino uses completely own unique coding and it does not help in any other language. Well, that is not true. Kind of. Arduino uses the coding language called C++. But some of these functions are unique for Arduino. Function like digital right bracket bracket close is just a C++ function. I bet you did not know that. On the barrel jack, never ever ever put 19 volts or less than 7 volts to it because any extra voltage provided to it has to be cut off by the regulator. So more than enough power supply to it will cause it to work more harder and heat up eventually and therefore destroy it. I don't know why I'm crossing my arms so for now here's the myth busting time. The perfect amount of voltage that you should provide to these is between 9 to 12 volts. Now this is a good one. Can you use Arduino 24-7? For this question, there is a yes and there is a no. Now you can run an Arduino 24-7, but if any wires are loose or sometimes it overheats, the board will get damaged. So you need to 100% make sure that whenever you're using an Arduino for 24-7 project, you have tight cables, perhaps try glue gunning it to the board or any other thing like that, but also have a ventilated area, just like computers, for the heat to sink away. So this is a big one. And do not make this mistake. Some people believe that on pin 13 there is a resistor. Now this is not true at all. However, on the first concept of Arduino boards, this was true that there was a resistor on the pin mode 13 because it includes an LED. Now if you didn't know, what is a resistor? A resistor is something that basically slows down the electrons from flowing. So it slows down the current. And if there is more electrons flowing towards something, that could cause a spark and eventually destroy it. Can Arduino kill you? And the simple answer is, no it cannot. Because Arduino has far low more voltage than literally anything else. And it doesn't even give you a shock really. Even under 10 volts, your human skin will not feel anything. Yes, that's my vocabulary. You can upload codes to Arduino infinite times. No. You can only upload a code to Arduino around 10,000 times. So do not just make a small adjustment to the code and just send it over and over and over to the Arduino. Because you are limiting the space. Arduino is limited to a certain projects. Arduino is limited to a little amount of projects. Four words. Sky is a limit, literally. This is because even if you go to Google and search Arduino Project Hub, you will see thousands upon thousands of projects by people. Also every day multiple projects get submitted by people so it really falls under your uniqueness like i built a prank machine to prank my brother at 3 a.m which was insane so you can watch it right here